Unless you've been living under a rock for a while, you might have noticed that Microsoft has announced Windows 11, and they did so earlier this summer. Preview versions are already available for download if you're registered as a Windows Insider, so a lot of folks have already made lots of great content around that, and that's cool and all. But have you tried running Windows 11 in Azure Virtual Desktop? Right before this weekend, Microsoft announced that preview versions of Windows 11 and Twice are available in the Azure Marketplace. You have both the standard version and you have the multi-session version. And you also have one addition that has multi-session with Microsoft 365 apps pre-installed. So uh, let's check it out, shall we? As a couple of people have mentioned, the Windows 11 preview images are not available for selection when you deploy a new host pool in Azure, but you can create your own VMs and then create an image from that VM that you can use in provisioning a new host pool. So let's just start by jumping into Azure and creating a new virtual machine, shall we? All right, create new resource. We'll search for Windows 11 preview. Then we'll select the enterprise multi-session with Microsoft 365 apps. It's create, uh, create a new resource group. Uh, let's call it Windows 11 tests and give it a nice little name. Uh, Windows 11 Norwegian sounds awesome. And I'll select West Europe because that's where most of my stuff is. We will give uh, our administrator a cute little name and a nice password. and the rest oh and, and of course i have the all the rights and hit review and create hit create and from now on i will be speeding up portions of this video just because waiting around for everything is so boring so uh hang tight all right my deployment is complete so let's go to resource and see if we can't connect to it through RDP. Yes, please. Hit connect and my beautiful credentials. And yes, of course, the certificate is okay. Now we are loading into a Windows 11 machine. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, here it is in all its glory. The first thing we need to do is to generalize the operating system using sysprep. So we'll just right click our start menu and open Windows Terminal as an admin. And let's just close out this. And see, see, Windows System32 sysprep. And sysprep again. Now, what you want to do is to generalize and then choose shutdown. And let's test that out. All right, it failed. It refers to a log file. So let's just see what the log file says. All right, it's the setup ACT. Let's just scroll down to the bottom and we can see that the errors start with this package right here, the OneDrive sync. So let's just copy that name, copy, hit OK on the error message and we'll do get app X package and paste the name of the package. Let's see if it works. Yes, there we have it. All right, uh, we can just remove uh, app X package. All right, so far so good. And let's try running sysprep again. Generalize and shut down and OK. All right, good. We are on our way now. And then we'll just have to wait for that to complete. Alright, so sysprem is done, my machine has been shut down, which is why I've been kicked out of my remote desktop session. Hit OK, go back to the overview of our virtual machine. Status is still running, so let's 
Just wait for it to be uh, shut down. Now it's stopped. And then we need to stop it in Azure. Stop and OK. Then we wait some more. All right, it seems to be deallocated now. So let's just refresh. Yes, looks good. Then we can hit capture in order to capture this machine as an image. Uh, we'll put it in the same resource group. Um, yes, share it to the gallery. We create a new gallery, call it Windows 11. And we need to create a new target image definition. Let's just call it Windows 11 def. And that's about it. Review and create. That is not it. We're missing something. What are we missing? We are missing the version number. 1.0.0. Alright. Review and create. Create. And now we wait some more. All right, fabulous. My deployment is complete. That means that we have an image now with a Windows 11 machine. So we can go back home and then into Azure Virtual Desktop. We create a new host pool, uh, put it in the appropriate resource group. I guess that's this one. Uh, give it a name. Let's just call it Windows 11 HP. And I will select West Europe. I will do a pooled host pool uh, with a maximum number of users of 10. Uh, next up, virtual machines. We want to add virtual machines. Uh, name prefix will be Windows 11. Uh, West Europe, we do not need any infrastructure redundancy. Gallery, click see all images and go to my items and share items and we will have our Windows 11 image. Select that. And we select that we want one virtual machine and put it in this say the correct virtual network and join it to we have Azure AD domain services here. So let's just jump join the computers to that one. Um yes, we need to specify and it's this here. And let's select a username for our admin account. That's going to be Petter Tech with a beautiful password. And next up is the workspace. We want to register a app group and we will register to our existing workspace. And yeah, well, not really anything else to do, but to hit review and create uh, it hit it passed validation. So let's just click create and then we wait some more. Hey, success. My host pool is deployed. Now all I need to do is to assign my user access to this new host pool. So let's hit add and we'll see if we can find me. Yeah, select and we wait. All right, uh, I'm assigned. Let's head on over to our remote desktop client and we will hit refresh. Let's see if a new icon pops up. And now we have a session desktop, which would be our Windows 11 machine. So let's try and connect to it. See how this goes. All right, something's happening. So far, so good. It looks just like this might work. We're getting there. All right, and here we have Windows 11 in all its glory with this glorious new start menu that has the Microsoft 365 apps pre-installed since that's the image we selected. And this whole process took approximately 45 minutes from start to finish. 
And uh, yeah, that's how you run Windows 11 Preview in Azure Virtual Desktop. Remember to do all the liking and the subscribing and stuff, and then I'll see you in the next one. See ya.